Welcome back to Fry Minis. I'm Eric, and today in our Dragonlance Shadow of the Dragon Queen coverage, we are talking Kender, a new playable race that I've only heard of in horror stories. Okay, so I am not going to pretend that I know a ton about Dragonlance. Uh, I know very little about Dragonlance. However, one thing that I've heard over and over and over throughout the years is that you should be afraid of Kender because players at the table who want to play a Kender, all they do is interrupt the game by stealing stuff from your pockets and uh, thieving from the shop and, and doing all sorts of shenanigans because they don't understand property rights or something. I don't know. So we'll find out if that's still here. I don't know. Um, but quick side note. So if you watch the Lunar Sorcerer video, I actually had a little mistake in there with the spells, that huge list of spells known that you get per phase. I assumed that you only get those spells per phase. So if you're in the moon, full moon, you only, at that time, you only get the full moon known spells. Nothing actually says that. The only restriction that anything talks about is the free be the free spell. So a free first level spell that you get to cast without burning a spell slot. Um, so I think you actually do get all those spells as known. And that, that seems like a lot to me. I'm open. And that's one of the dangers of doing these videos, rushing them out. And sometimes I miss something like that. So thank you, thank you, thank you to the YouTube commenter that alerted me to it. All the information is pinned in the comments on that video, on the Lunar Sorcerer video. So, of course, please help us out. Share the video, like, subscribe, all that stuff. Uh, but let's get into it with the Kender. Kender, during the mythical origins of Kryn, Rayork's god of craft, indulged in an age of unfettered creation. Many people sprang from his divine forge, but not all among them remained as the god created them. Altered by unbridled magic, a group of gnomes were transformed and given almost supernatural curiosity and fearlessness. They were the first Kender. Originating in the world of Kryn, Kender are diminutive humanoids who look like humans with pointed ears and diverse appearances. Kender have a supernatural curiosity that drives them to adventure. Due to this inquisitiveness, many Kender find themselves falling through portals to other planes and worlds. Kender sometimes amass impressive collections of curiosities. Some might collect mundane knickknacks or relics from magical sites, while others might become professional thieves. Okay, also shout out to my pal Jameson for letting me know how to say Ray Orcs. So it looks like we're hinting at that uh, taking all that stuff habits with the, sometimes they get a job where they're a thief. Uh, but there are no mechanical things here later that specifically like make you steal things. So if you want to keep that going with your game, I guess you're able to, but otherwise there's nothing here that says your character is driven to pickpocketing or anything like that. Uh, okay, and so just like all the recent books that have come out, uh, your stats, uh, you know, you've got your plus two and plus one or three plus ones, uh, your average uh, height and weight and uh, lifespan, all that kind of stuff. And you like, pick your own languages. All that's the stuff you've heard a hundred thousand times before. Nothing there is special. So, which by the way, I like that. I like that's a good structure. I still prefer it when we get a, here's like a typical weight range here's typically how tall they are that's maybe a little more specified but not the end of the world okay but our actual mechanical traits let's go creature type you are a humanoid size you are small speed your walking speed is 30 feet okay so that's exactly what we would expect right a humanoid of course uh small makes sense and 30 feet movement speed that's good i like that i think I don't know this, but I think the 25 foot speed races, I think that's done. I think that we're never gonna see another 25 foot movement speed race. I would predict. Fearless, you have advantage on saving throws you make to avoid or end the frightened condition on yourself. When you fail a saving throw to avoid or end the frightened condition on yourself, you can choose to succeed instead. Once you succeed on a saving throw in this way, you can't do so again until you finish a long rest. So this is wild. 
Oh, uh, that that's a lot, I think. Okay, so you have advantage against the save or to break the save, right? So that's great on its own. So you, you've got a very good chance at succeeding against those fear effects. And then if you still fail, you've got basically a legendary resistance here and you're like, nah, I'm good. I'm not afraid. And think about how many fear effects in particular have the, once you pass this save, you're immune to that, that effect kind of thing. I think this is really strong. Now you could be fighting, you could do, go, do a whole campaign that has no fear effects and it doesn't come up. Sure. But if you are in a campaign where fear comes up a lot, like with dragons, maybe in dragon lands, really good, really good. Kender aptitude. Thanks to the mystical origin of your people, you gain proficiency with one of the following skills of your choice. Insight, investigation, sleight of hand, stealth, or survival. First of all, skill proficiency is always great. Uh, I know races aren't supposed to have skill proficiencies and like naturally anymore, I guess. Uh, but here it's tied to magic, so it's okay. And um, if you really want to lean in on that thief pickpocket thing, you've got sleight of hand, so you're good. Taunt. You have an extraordinary ability to fluster creatures. As a bonus action, you can unleash a string of provoking words at a creature within 60 feet of yourself that can hear and understand you. The target must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or it has disadvantage on attack rolls against targets other than you until the start of your next turn. The DC equals 8 plus your proficiency bonus plus your intelligence, wisdom, or charisma modifier. Choose when you select this race. You can use this bonus action a number of times equal to your proficiency bonus and you regain all expended uses when you finish a long rest. Okay, so you're like, Eric, if I'm playing this kind of probably roguish type thing, that's where I'm going. Why would I want a creature to come attack me? Why would I want it to be incentivized to come after me? Why wouldn't you? It's fun. It's easy. So what you like, come on, you've got the monster over here and you're over here and the party's over here and it's fighting the party and you're right here in the part and the monster can see you and you taunt it and you're like, come on, you've got flat feet. I have flat feet. And then it says, oh, curses. I failed my save. And that's your bonus action, right? So then you run around the corner. And you use your action to hide. And then you move around a little bit. So you're, you're hidden a little. And now the monster has disadvantage on everything. And it can't do anything about you. Stuff like that. Be strategic with this. I think this is a cool feature. And you know, obviously you don't have to play a, like a rogue type of person. You can be a sword and shield heavy armor paladin walking around and do that. Whatever. You barbarian and do it. That's cool. I think it's a really neat feature. I wish there were features like this that were kind of built into the game though. More of like an act, like an actual, like the attack action, the cast a spell action or whatever. And like that, like a taunt action. I would love to see a little more, a kind of like a video game. I get it. I'd like to see some more strategy type stuff built into the game. Like I'm a big shover, not prone person in, when I play and stuff like that. I like to, I like to be, at least pretend that I'm kind of strategic. So like that, I, I would love to see that baked into the game as a fundamental thing, but whatever, who knows? Um, I think it's nice though. I think it's cool. I think it's a really, it's kind of like a surprising feature. And anytime we use the word fluster, I'm happy. I love the word fluster and the salad. Okay, that's enough rambling. Uh, I think this is a cool race. I think that fearless part is very, can be very strong, can be very, very strong depending on the situation, but it can also never come up. So it's kind of, it's a gamble. If you're playing a Dragonlands campaign, I think this would be a, a, a very thematic uh, race that makes sense. Uh, but mechanically, I think it'd be really solid. All right. That's the Kender. Thanks for watching. We'll have more videos coming soon.
talk to you later.